Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your one athletic cat gamer here, Ellie Talia, coming at you with another awesome class recommendation video. Um, today is an assault shield uh, class recommendation. Um, I've actually been having problems to like sort of put this one out just because there's so many different um, like combinations you can do with this assault shield class. So I'm gonna tell you right off the start. This is all gonna be personal preferences. Uh, I'm actually going to show you two of them, one that I like to play around when I fool around with my friends playing uh, Search and Destroy and one of them that you could play pretty much almost every game type and run around the map with. Um, now I'm going to start with the one you can run around the map with, the one that it's actually like my Assault Shield Classic. If I actually want to go try hard like a see TDM or something like that or, or uh, Domination, um, this is what I'd use. Okay, your primary weapon of course is the Assault Shield. Your secondary is the Cap 40s with Dual Wield. Dual Wield just because... The Although they have been patched, the cap 40s, they are still pretty beast. And the dual wield obviously adds um, that up close range that can be needed to destroy your enemies and rip them apart. Um, perk 1, flat jacket. Um, just because when an assault shield is seen, um, you know, fry grenades and C4s are just getting thrown at you constantly. Uh, unfortunately, Semtex is pretty much... Uh, once stick to your riot shield, you're pretty much dead. I'm I'm not really sure if there is a trick um, to actually survive that, but pretty much uh, with all my experience of using the assault shield, once that sticky grenade hit me, um, there's no way I could escape it and I die. So flat jacket won't be able to protect you versus that, but will be uh, protecting you versus um, C4s and other explosives uh, explosives that your enemy might throw at you when they get panicked, uh, seeing you with an assault shield. Perk number two is fast hands, just so you can switch your secondary super quick and so, and that you can throw your lethal and your tactical grenades as quick as possible. Scavenger just to replenish your ammo to get that uh, lethal and your tactical back and of course keeping your cap 40s uh, replenished just because obviously you're, usually your kills are going to come with the cap 40s and that's why I picked such a powerful secondary. But of course you could pick any other secondary. Um, of course, obviously using overkill is a great option and maybe using like a, a quick uh, shooting gun like the Scorpion or the Vector that has some quick rate of fire and that can really damage an enemy. Or of course, going with a shotgun, I see lots of people doing that. Um, of course, like I said, this is really personal preferences. That's, that's the great part uh, about the Assault Shield. There's so many great combinations you can do with them. Um, perk number three is Tack Mask. Uh, I forgot to mention Wild Card. I'm using Perk 2 Greed for uh, to have the second perk in uh, Perk 2. Um, perk 3, as I said, is Tack Mask, um, just because, like I said, uh, flash grenades, uh, stun grenades, everything's going to be thrown at you once they see you with an assault, sh assault shield coming at them. So obviously you need that, because li lots of people like to do is they like to throw the stun, stun you, then jump around on, uh, to your back and kill you from behind. So, at least with Tack Mask, you will get like a, like a slow hit marker on you when they throw the stun, but it won't completely completely paralyze you and you can be able to move and keep on blocking those bullets and hopefully you have time to pull out your cap 40s to finish off your enemy your lethal grenade is c4 because i love c4s of course obviously um uh like uh, uh combat axes are obviously really really useful um i remember back in Modern for three when i used to use my right shield class I used to use uh semtexes those are obviously super really uh, really really good uh, but I'm using C4s because I love the multi kills you can get with this gun, and obviously faced with multiple enemies, you need that um, that power to take them all out. And obviously C4 has that explosive damage that can really destroy an enemy team, unless they're using flat jacket. But even in that case, sometimes it just just explodes them anyways. Um, and you're gonna be, your tactical grenade will be concussion just to stun your enemies when they're running too far or running too quick from you. Just so you can catch up to them and maybe smash them from behind or take out your cap 40s and just destroy them. Um, now, my second class, and this is my riot, uh, my salt shield search and destroy for fun with my friends where we want to go for big win streaks and just fool around. Of course, primary, as I said, is the assault shield. Your secondary now is any pistol of choice with a tactical knife. I, of course, like always, you use whatever you want. I remember at one point I was using overkill with uh, scorpion, but... I really like the um, the tactical knife on one of the pistols. I remember uh, originally I actually had the B23R. That's actually a really good pistol with the uh, tack ma uh, tack uh, tack knife, and it was really really good. Unfortunately, after I prestiged it and after I lost it, and I have to re uh, 
level it all up. So right now I'm just using the 5.7 actually um, with the um, tactical knife. Of course, um, I actually do recommend the 5.7. I know lots of people don't like to use it just because it is a semi-automatic pistol. And obviously a good trigger finger could obviously uh, make a difference between killing your enemy or not. Now my trigger finger, as I said in one of my videos when I was making the fall class, I do not have a great uh, trigger finger. But with the 5.7, the, the I find myself winning lots of gunfights. Of course, Attack 45, as I said in one of my videos, is probably the best um, two-shot kill pistols and all that. So, obviously, personal preference with the secondaries. Um, your primary, or uh, your per, uh, first perk, my bad, is Flat Jacket, just as my primary um, class. Just because, as I said, lots of nades and lots of uh, explosives are going to be thrown at you when, you when they see you with an assault shield. Your second perk is fast hands, just so you can switch over to that secondary. Um, obviously, very important to stay alive, especially in SND sometimes. So you have to take out that secondary, finish off your enemy. And uh, I'm going to tell you right off the start, it's all patience, especially in uh, SND with an assault shield. It's all patience. You have to wait for them to make a mistake or wait for them to start reloading. So you can just bounce on them with your fast hands, take out your secondary, and just spray them to death. And that's one thing I obviously do. Um, <laughs> that's how I get all my kills in the... Uh, S and D usually it's for my secondary pistol when I'm using the assault shield. Uh, perk three is obviously tack mask. As I said, stun grenades, everything's getting thrown at you when they see a person with an assault shield. And obviously that's one thing that um, tack mask can fix. Obviously since it uh, reduces the uh, the effect of those uh, tactical grenades. Um, now you're gonna use a wild card for the next one, which is uh, danger close to have two lethals. I just like using two. Uh, bouncing Betty's. I've used two C4s, two Claymores. That's all personal preferences. I just like to fool around with it. No, Bouncing Betty's actually gave me a lot of kills during SND matches. Just throwing them around the bomb, just fooling around, and um, they actually get some funny uh, final kill cams. So, oh, obviously, that's a really good uh, choice, obviously. But obviously, all personal preferences. You don't even have to have two. Maybe you can only have one, maybe put two tacticals. Obviously, all personal preferences. And the last thing I put is uh, for tactical uh, grenade is a uh, shock charge, just for fun. And obviously, uh, shock charge plus a bouncing Betty equal death, pretty much. So that's that's pretty much my class layouts. Uh, this is the assault shield layout. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Leave a like button if you did. Uh, favorite if you really did enjoy it. Subscribe for more awesome content. And as always, this is your one only athletic card gamer. Wishing you guys an amazing day.